Welcome to battle number four of the FNF Orberg Gate Preseason Draft League. This is going to be a battle between Lilith's team, which is Kiss of Death, versus Benji's team, which is the Star Conquerors. As a reminder, the Mega, uh, sorry, the Zeke Crystal Pokemon available in this battle are full picks with any Z move and Bonsly with attack Z moves. And then we have Laron with any Z move and uh, Cedra, I believe, with attack Z moves. So we can see a Z move from either side in this battle. This is looking like it could be, um, there There could be a Sun Core happening with Vulpix and Gloom on Kiss of Death. Um, Gloom does look pretty promising in this matchup, being able to take down um, Maractus, Rhydon, sorry, Rhyhorn and Seedra up in Sun. Even uh, Laron might have to be careful. Uh, Cryogonal could be good at walling Gloom, but it does have to be careful of Vulpix. It does have a special, uh, high special defense stat, but Vul Vulpix with sun boosted flamethrowers can do quite a number on it. Of course, we do see Gotharita coming in as well, being able to trap and kill things. I'm not sure what it's going to try to trap and kill, but it can do that depending on its move pool. Maractus looks like it could be an interesting Pokemon in this one. It's has knockoff, so it can be a little more useful than its grass typing suggests. Um, <laughs> and I love how the first three Pokemon on Benji's team are all just like quadrupeds chilling out. Like they look like they're just a gang of three, three best friends. So this is going to be a really interesting one. And let's jump in, shall we? All right. In terms of leads, maybe we'll get Bonsly or, or Vulpix setting up Sun. For Benji, maybe Laron or Rhydon. Uh, sorry, Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn is going to be the one who comes out to set up Stealth Rocks most likely. Kitsune is there. and Actually, Kitsune, the Vulpix goes for an energy, energy ball right off the bat, dealing massive damage and taking down Basarius, Bas Basarios, 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 Basarios. Basarios the right one. <laughs> and the score is 6-5. And Lagiacris, the Seedra, comes out. Vulpix is going to get hit hard by Skull, but an Iapapa Berry is going to bring it back up to 72%. Energy Ball does big damage, doing 58%. Another Skull might be enough to take down Vulpix, as we see 78% was enough. Depending on the damage roll, it could go for another Skull. Vulpix might want to switch out. But Vulpix stays in, and the Scald is able to take down Kitsune, the Vulpix. The score is now an even 5-5. I'm guessing Gloom is going to come in to take advantage of this Sun with Chlorophyll. It could set up Growth if it wants to. Uh, yes, Poison Ivy, the Gloom, comes out. Um, it could set up Growth, or it could go for a Giga Drain. And actually, Lagiacris goes first. Um... Which is really weird. I wonder then maybe Gloom doesn't have speed investment or I thought it would outspeed in Chlorophyll. I mean, in Sun because of Chlorophyll. But uh, Ice Beam is not able to take down Gloom. It has 3% HP left and it does take down uh, Cedra with a Petal Blizzard. This could be maybe a physical Gloom, which is interesting. Lava, Lava Seoth, the Quillava comes out and a Hidden Power, again, it outspeeds. A hidden Power is able to take down Gloom, and the score is now 4-4 four, four even. Lava Siop, I'm so bad <laughs> at this pronunciation. I'm sorry, Benji. Um, Monster Hunter pronunciation is not my forte. Polter, the um, Frillish is going to come out to take on Quillava, but Baryoth, the Cryogonal, is going to come in. A hefty physical, I mean, special wall. It takes that Surf like a champ, only doing about 18%. Something to remember about Baryoth is that it does have access to recover. With that Leftovers and the fact that there's a special attacker out right now, it seems like it will be really tough to take down this Cryogonal. Uh, Poulter is going to go for a Shadow Ball, though. It does about the same as Surf, um, 17%. And Baryoth is able to Toxic Poulter, it missed last time, but now the Toxic is up, and Poulter's going to try to keep chipping away at Baryoth with those Shadow Balls, but if Baryoth has recovered, that is not good for Poulter. And it looks like Baryoth is going to protect, so 
Benji is taking a page out of Noob Scrub's book, going for that uh, toxic stall with Protect, combined with its high special defense um, and the fact that Poulter is toxic. It looks like Poulter is probably going to want to get out of this situation. And indeed, Barioth does have recover, so this is a situation where Cryogonal is probably going to be an unbreakable wall here. Poulter goes for the Giga Drain. It does uh, have the ability to restore a little bit of HP with that, but the toxic damage is adding up. And every turn, it's going to do a little bit more. Barioth is not going to use Ice Beam to contribute a little bit more to Poulter taking some damage. Poulter is going to keep trying to chip away at the sh uh, at Barioth's special defense with Shadow Ball. I'm wondering if Poulter is trying to uh, fish for a special defense drop. Um, there aren't... Uh, Dragonair and Bonsly could be physical attackers, so they could come in on Barioth to take it down. Dragonair is going to have to be really careful coming in on Ice Beam. Bonsly too, even though it's not super effective, Bonsly's special defense is pretty low. Uh, Barioth is going to protect, but during that protect, Poulter just goes for the recover, and it's back to full HP, but with that poison doing 30% now, Poulter's not going to be alive for much longer. Poulter decides to switch out into Celestia, the Gotharita. Nice little dunk I've learned by reference there, I'm assuming. Uh, Ice Beam's going to do about 35%. Pretty hefty considering Gotharita is defensive. Uh, Barioth is looking like it's going to... It's a really good Pokemon in this matchup. And now Celestia is toxic as well. Celestia goes for the Psychic, but it's only going to do about 17%. It does get that special defense drop on Barioth, but with that massive special defense stat and recover, I'm not sure if Celestia will be able to break through Barioth. And Barioth is going to protect, protecting itself from, I'm assuming, another Psychic. Uh, Thunderbolt. Meanwhile, Celestia is taking more poison damage while Barioth is still at a quite comfortable HP. One Ice Beam brings Celestia down in range to get KO'd by Poison Celestia, goes for the Thunderbolt, and uh, I do believe this is enough for Poison to take down Celestia. Indeed it is. The Poison takes it down. It looks like Noob Scrub saying, does anyone else remember running into Cryogon on Black and White or Black and White 2 and being like, what the hell is that thing? Yes, I very much remember that. <laughs> so it looks like Cryogon is going to scout with Protect. The Z-Move Continental Crush hits, and it's probably going to do big damage, even though Protected. Yeah, it does 50%, even though it was Protected. Bonsley's good attack stat combined with Cryogon's bad defense stat means that it still does quite a chunk. Recover is going to let Barry off... Uh, have a little bit more longevity, but it does have to be careful uh, because Rock Slide, yeah, Rock Slide does big damage, taking out Barioth, and the score is now 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Benji's slight lead due to the fact that uh, Poulter, I believe was the name, Poulter, is poisoned. So Durambaros is going to come out using Knockoff on Bonsai, and the Knockoff is not going to remove anything, actually, because Bonsai had a Z-Crystal. Rock Slide does pretty big damage, actually, taking Duramboros to 41% HP. And a Sucker Punch does 33%. Not enough to take it out, though. A Strong Grass move might be enough. Yep, Giga Drain is the move that Duramboros uses to take out Bonsai, and it's restored back to 52% health. Score is now 2-3. And Symphonia the Dragonair is the next one to come out. And a knockoff is going to remove a chest ovary. This might be a resting shed skin Dragonair. And Body Slam hits. Will it paralyze? It seems like it does not paralyze. It brings down Durambros to 7% HP. Symphonia is going to get hit by that Giga Drain. It doesn't do that much damage. And a Dragon Tail is actually enough to take down Durambros. The score is 2 2, looking like a pretty close game. I'm guessing Laron is going to come out to take on Symphonia. Due to the fact that it seems to be a physical attacker, yeah, you you can los or you can los. The Laron comes out. Iron Tail is going to miss, and another Toxic. It looks like Benji has packed Toxic on a few of his Pokemon. Oh, but the Shed Skin from Dragonair does remove that Toxic. 
and it looks like Frillish has come in probably to take a Toxic again or to be able to take down Eucanlos with uh, Surf. Curse is going to improve Eucanlos' attack and defense while lowering its speed. Will Poulter be able to break through or will Eucanlos go for um, a move? Protect actually is going to scout out that likely Surf. Indeed, it is Surf. And that poison damage is still doing a little bit. Uh, Leron might have some trouble here, and Quilava potentially, with Surf. Surf actually hits very hard, as we see right now, taking Yukanlos down to 15%. Leron's going to go for another Curse, but that's not going to help its special defense take any Surfs, and it is now in range to be KO'd. Poulter is going to have some trouble here. Uh, sorry, Yukanlos is going to have some trouble here. Uh... But Protect is going to scout out that Surf, while Toxic does some damage to Poulter. Poulter does have Recover though, so that's something that uh, Ukanlos is going to have to watch out for. Uh, the Poison damage is racking up. One more won't be enough to take down Poulter. And another Protect, the Double Protect in succession, works out in Benji's favor to block that Surf, not a Recover actually. And Poulter is brought down to 10%. And Poulter goes for the Giga Drain, trying to recover a little bit of HP, taking down Ukanlos, but that toxic damage is going to be enough to take down Poulter as well. Indeed, even with the Giga Drain and the leftovers, Poulter goes down, and this is now a 1v1 situation. Dragonair versus Quilava. Lava Seoth comes out. Uh, I believe it has the HP advantage. Yes, it has the HP advantage. Uh, Symphonia is brought down to below half HP. Flamethrower not going to do enough to take down Symphonia, though. It barely hangs on. Can it take down Lava Seoth? Will it use Outrage or Aqua Tail? Uh, Dragon Tail it does big damage, 52%, but it's not enough to take down Lava Seoth. And it looks like one more Flamethrower will be enough. Uh, indeed, Flamethrower is a move that Benji decides to hit and it does take down Symphonia. Life War bringing Lava Seoth down to 19%. What a close battle. It is a 1-0 victory for the Star Conquerors over Kiss of Death. That was really intense. So close. Um, really, Cryogonal seems to be uh, really useful in that battle and um, Frillish as well was pretty useful. The poison on Frillish really harmed it because otherwise it would have been able to recover a little bit better. But uh, yeah, really close intense match. Good way for both these trainers to showcase what they got starting off. And tune in for some more week one of Orberg Gate Draft League battles. This is Noel from My Cornet, and I'll see you then.